Okay, so let's just start the tour. Um, this is the view from the door when you get into my room. And I'm gonna try and not make you dizzy here. And I'm gonna start from the right here when you get in. Right there in the corner I have my different markers. I store all of my markers in this acrylic container that I got from a store that was closing. And all of my markers are here except the Copic markers that I store in a different place in the room. And I have this Ranger craft spinner. And I store my stickles, my liquid pearls and I also have all of my ink blending tools in this. Okay, so you can see this big unit here and next to that I store my cling mounted stamps in DVD cases. I'm gonna get a bit closer so you can see better. On the top of the shelf on the unit here I store my photos and my Project Life photos. There are two different sort of photo storage. I just have these boxes from Ikea where I store different sort of things. And that one says tools. Oh. I have some label maker and some random tools that I never use in there. And in this one I have my punches. And in this one I have stamps from Sweet Stamps. I used to be part of their design team, so I have quite a few of their stamps. And I also have some DVD cases with their stamps, but unfortunately they didn't fit on the DVD racks because I have too many stamps. So I'm gonna store these inside that one when I get all of the stamps organized into DVD cases. And on this shelf I have some tiny glass jars from Ikea with ribbons and some flowers and over here I have buttons and all of my brads and eyelets. But let's just open the first drawer here. And in this one I store my wood mounted stamps. There are some alphabets and some random wood stamps. I rarely use these. I do use the alphabet ones, but I never use these ones, but I still have them here. And then I have some paper storage that is empty at the moment. And the other drawer, I have all of my wood embellishments. And I have some, I don't know what these are. Letter press alphabets from Tim Holtz. I have some extra dilutions journals, small ones. Some large spools of ribbon. And some different kind of journals that I will use for uh, mixed media projects sometime. And then we have this unit here, like the bottom shelves. This is a mess in here. And in here I actually store, on this shelf, I have, I'm gonna take that away, you can see, I have extra dilutions journals, I have some marker pads, I have my watercolor paper, these are Tim Holtz or Ranger, and then I have some books, it's calligraphy and how to draw horses and dogs and some random packing materials, boxes in case I want to ship something. And on this shelf I have cardboard. I use them for mixed media and make paintings and all that. And then I have some stamping paper and I do have a mixture here. Some, of, some are from Ranger and some other random stuff. And then on this side I have marker papers and these are heavyweight made for
Pro markers, but they work just as fine with Copics. And then I have some Nina Solar White heavy cardstock. And on the bottom here I have some extra cardstock. And I also have some letter sized ones and a few canvas things that I plan on using sometime. And then next to that I have some ribbon and I just store these on some plastic dividers that I made myself and I just hung them there on the end. And there I just have a bucket of wrapping paper and and then there's my die cut station. And this is an Alex drawer from IKEA. And on top I have my big shot. And let's see, in the first drawer, in the first drawer here I just store all cutting supplies. And drawer number two is dies. So on the edge here I have these long dies. As you can see most of this stuff is from Tim Holtz. And over here I have all of these magnetic shapers, movers and shapers or whatever these are called. And next drawer. And then next drawer is some Tim Holtz tissue tape. Some magnetic sheets, some of uh, these Tim Holtz storage pockets, and lots of them. And I also have these kind of presentation folders things, and I keep photos that I've taken in here in case anyone wants to see what I've done. This is a caracal that I photographed in Namibia when I was living there. This is two Expedit units from Ikea and in this first one I have my color blooms from Prima. And then I have this box from Ikea in the bottom and it's just a hot mess in here but in here I have my old big shot and I also have you probably can't tell because it's dark but I have a lot of stuff from our wedding that I'm gonna use in our wedding album and here I have some project life albums these are empty I'm gonna put something in them eventually and then I have another of these drawer things and this one is actually well it's more or less empty I do have some folders in there that I use for making dividers for my stamps and stuff I hope you don't get too motion sick from this and in this one I have project life page protectors I have some basic gray pattern papers. I have some albums, like old scrapbook albums. And there comes another cat. And then, let's see, below this shelf I have a box that's called For Sale. And inside this one might be a bit dark, but I do have a lot of random stuff that I am going to sell. Oh, there's three of my cats. On this shelf right here, I have some Project Life album. Below here, I have a box that's called Album. And in this one, I just have some random photo albums. And in this drawer, I have some extra candles, some matches, and I have Derwent Studio color pencils and my Derwent Intense pencils. And in the bottom drawer I have some old scrapbooking books 
and you know scrapbooker and I don't know what maybe I should just throw them away because I mean it's not like I use them anymore and this is uh, you may think that I'm probably a hoarder right now because in this little thing it says extras and it's packed with extra stuff I have some extra adhesive and, and right here I have my pattern papers in this hanger thing I just sort them by color there's nothing extra about that and there's another cat and this is random craft stuff like nothing scrapbooking it's just random stuff and then we have the top of this thing. I just have some flowers from Prima. These are mostly embellishments. And some cats and my old quick cuts machine or tool that I never use. It's just there for decoration. And then we have my work area. There's my computer and my cat again. And here is just some office related stuff. I do have my camera in the bottom. I have some games, computer games. All my cat related items. And some paper for my trimmer and photos and all that. And in these drawers, I just have office stuff. You can see my cat, and another cat, and my computer, and another cat. I actually do think there's two cats on there. Yep. As I said, I do have five cats at the moment. And then, on the corner here, it's a bit dark in here probably, but in here I just have some stuff for when I pay my bills. I have some Project Life kits, lots of them. And I have a box right here that actually contains my collection of playing cards. Yeah, I know. And some Project Life core kits. I do have my core kits stored in another location as well, but these are... I mean there are so many cards in a core kit that I can't really store all of them at the same place because that it just takes too much space. So these are just extras. But I do think that this one is actually not even opened. And in the bottom I just have some random boxes of stuff. The mo most of the boxes down there is actually empty. Over here I just have some... I haven't really filled this unit, but on the top there I have some buttons. And I have my distress stickles and I have some pens and stuff. And there's my sewing machine. And then we have almost made our way around this room. But we have this unit here, left. And in this first drawer, I have... Let's just move closer. I have some chipboard alphabets sorted in these plastic containers. Next drawer is more chipboard alphabets. Third drawer is chipboard embellishments. And fourth one is also some chipboard stuff. And this larger drawer right here is, is actually my stamp storage. And all of this random stuff on top here is just things I need to sort. 
But I do store my clear stamps in these pockets from Abriel. And I sort them by company. I do want them standing up like that, but the drawer is, isn't deep enough, so it doesn't work. So I need to have them lying down. Hopefully I will find a better solution sometime, but for now this works. And beside my stamps, I store all of my dies in these smaller plastic pockets. Some larger die sets right here. And I have all of my acrylic blocks in here as well. I, in this drawer I store some random stuff that has to do with stamping. And I have my Fiskars stamping blocks, things, and I have stuff for cleaning. I don't know what this is, so it's random, like alphabet stamps right here. And I have my most used black inks, I have glitters and embossing powders. And in this bottom drawer I have more inks and ink refills and some stamp sets that doesn't fit anywhere else and a random box of flowers. And then we have, I guess all of us have a drawer that is just for random stuff. And this is mine. Well, everything that doesn't fit anywhere else goes into this drawer. So I have my paper pads, 6x6 six six paper pads, I have refills and some papers and yeah. Let's just close that one. It's not very pretty. This is my desk where I work. Um, I do have two lights, craft paper, which is pretty disgusting right now because I, I use this to protect my, my table because I don't want to ruin my tabletop. And I use this when I, you know, test stamping, when I test my pens. Well, I use it just like a piece of scratch paper and that's why it looks really bad. And on the end, right there, I have printed out a calendar so I know what date it is and what I need to do and what I need to put up on my blog and all that. Here on my work bench. I have my Copic markers stored in old cat food jars. Works really well. They are sorted by color. And then I have these boxes from IKEA. And here I store all of my cardstock scraps. And here I store my twines. And and on the back I store all of my gems and. No, enamel dots and pearls and all that kind of thing. Next to that I have my toolbox, so to speak. And in this one I have markers and pens, rulers, like foam squares and that one goes over there. And in this one I have my glue. I have yep, pokey tools and bone folders and distress tools and scissors. And on the end is my trimmer. And I also have an extra like glass cutting mat that I use sometimes. And below that I have a box of flowers, um, metal embellishments, and like butterfly embellishments. I like butterflies, so butterflies just got their own place right there. And then I have two of these boxes on top of each other. First one contains my 
washi tapes and I store these by color and the bottom one has random boxes of stuff that I need to put somewhere else and you know these like brads and stuff like a bit of a fancier type brads And next to that is my card storage. This is where I store the cards that I have made. They are just... I put them in plastic. Since I have lots of cats in here, I tend to get a lot of cat hair everywhere and I don't want to get cat hair on my cards. So I just store them in these plastic envelope things. I do have quite a few cards. So I need to start giving them away. And next to that I have some Copic coloring guides, my Copic marker journal that I have made and next to my cards I just store some Martha Stewart, you know, decorating good things, magazines. They have actually nothing to do with scrapbooking but I just thought they looked good right there. And this first one is actually empty and in this one I, I store my stencils. I used to have them in an album so they are still in like page protectors but I like them this way because I can easily just flip through them. In this one I store my alphabet stickers. Um, and I do have a few of those as well. And in this one I have just stickers and all that kind of stuff. I have my most used cardstock in these acrylic displays from Display Dynamics. And in this one I have like white to black, like grey tones. Then I have pinks and reds, I have green, and in the I have like beige to brown. And then I have this felted dog right there that I made. And up here I have, these are my Tim Holtz binders where I have all my Tim Holtz stamps. In this one, I store my dilution stamps, just like so. And that white one is empty. So now for my Project Life and Mixed Media Storage, I have these two uh, Roskog cards from IKEA. And on the top here, I just store my Project Life cards, sorted by, you know, where they come from. So this is Webster and these are my journaling card, filler cards, title cards, grid cards and other cards. And I just have them in these small plastic containers. Oops. And I also have some alcohol gel for cleaning. I have my date stamps and I have a charcoal pencil. Some random stuff that I need to use and some stamps from the Studio Calico kits, some snap like pads and playing cards. And down here it's the same thing. I just have my Project Life cards. These are actually in this section is actually Project Life, Becky Higgins Project Life and on the top one is just random brands. And I'm gonna see if I can show you the bottom one as well. Just gonna have to show you like skew. I just have some random tags and other things for Project Life. It's mostly tags in here, but it's some embellishments and decorations as well. Between my two cards, I have these like white containers that I've actually on one side it's hanging on the card and the other one is just resting because if I pull this one away 
you can see it's gonna if it's just hanging it's not straight and I wanted it to be straight so I just pulled the cards closer together and just let this edge rest on the card. And in this one I store my well my most used tools. I have my heat gun, I have some borders dice, no border punches, I have my corner jumper, my crocodile, I have hot glue gun, I have some twinkling edge clothes and some acrylic paint. My mixed media storage. On the top shelf here I have my spray inks, my dilutions and my color wash and I also have some gesso, ink gold and there's gesso and like glue and seal and matte medium and And I have distressed crackle paints and some other paint related things. And in the bottom one I have more stuff for like mixed media and art journaling. I have these non-stick craft mats. I have my dilutions journals. Right here is all of my distress paints. I have some different kind of texture tapes and these old scrapbook colors from making memories. I have embossing paste and some more like aluminium. I don't know what these are called, but they're kind of cool to use. And then if we just check right there, I have the chairs where you can sit. I have a trash can that I need to empty. And yeah, we have gone completely around this room. <laughs>